What's going on Evil Street Shark fam and what's going on new subscribers? So today is Sunday, happy Sunday to you guys. Right now, I'm with the SI. It's been raining all weekend, Saturday and today's Sunday. As you guys can see, the car is wet. If you guys are not already following me, follow your boy on IG. My sticker came off here a little bit. Gonna get a new one. So that's gonna be coming soon. I'm gonna show you guys the new sticker that I get and right now so i ordered new demon eyes and i was hoping it's the same exact demon eyes that i have but come to find out the new demon eyes that they have is completely different so what i was going to do is so we found out that the bluetooth controller which is right here i installed a new one in the last video and the colors were all messed up so I was like, okay, I did some research and found out it could be the drivers. The drivers could be the reason why there's issues and something goes bad. So a lot of people are saying that it could be the drivers, but the drivers is, I'm gonna show you guys right here. So the drivers dun, 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 is right here. So it's this little thing that says color morph right there. The new ones that they have is completely different. Usually the connection has four pins to it. Now the connection has like five. So as you guys can see right there in the middle, there's four pins. The new Demon Ice actually has five pins. So I cannot just switch out the drivers and plug these in now. So that is not going to work so looks like i will be making a video of installing my new retro fitted headlights with new headlights new projector housing new demon eyes so that will be coming in the future so now that i have the new demon eye and of course guess what then bluetooth controller does not work with the new demon eyes so i gotta get a new bluetooth controller which morimoto makes now i gotta do that and I also have to still get the headlights and I still got to get the projector housings and then we have everything. So that's good. That's really good. This time around, I'm going to make sure everything goes right. Deal with this again. But of course, sometimes the drivers do get bad. So I'm going to order extra drivers. So in case this ever happened and I'm going to run an inline fuse. So if any electric issue happens, the fuse will blow and it doesn't mess anything else up. You definitely got to pay to play. So it is what it is. And one of my main features of this car that I love is the demon eyes. Let's get out of here. I got to put some air in the tires. Today is about 50 degrees. The rest of the week, it says like 50 at the most 56 at the highest throughout the whole week. So the weather is getting better which is overall good. And I'm missing the Mugen GPs. So I'm thinking about putting the Mugen GPs on. More than likely, I will put them on for a Honda day, which is April 7th and 8th. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys are going to Honda day, I will be a Honda day with this car, April 7th and 8th. So I'll be at Maryland International Raceway. And if you guys follow me on Instagram or you follow the H day page, they actually posted a picture of my car on there, which is pretty dope. So my car is on there. I also posted in the link in the description so you guys can check it out, which is pretty dope. So yeah, in due time. Definitely can't wait for those wheels to come in and wait for those bigger brake calipers to come in. Wheels that I want, I can't wait to share that with you guys. And they're gonna be killer and brake necks. I cannot wait guys, but let's go. Let's get out of here. Also guys, I've noticed like because I was looking inside the engine bay and I noticed a little bit of water right here and I looked up and I'm like, why is this screw falling out? As you guys can see right there, the screw is falling out. And then I look over here, the screw is gone. Like, I actually replaced some of these screws, but now they're falling out again. Like, what is going on? Too much downforce or the vibration is loosening them up? what could be the reason why they keep falling out i have no idea i might have to keep like an allen wrench with me and just keep tying them up over and over and over again or something but that is really weird i have no clue so i try to look to see if i was able to find another screw like that to put in the hole but i guess i ran out or i misplaced them or put them somewhere so i guess 
I gotta run to Lowe's and go buy another screw. It is what it is. Let me know in the comment box below if you guys have ran into this issue with this racing hood where the vent covers screws keep falling out. Let me know, cause this is like the second time this has happened. I don't know what it could be, vibration, the wind, downforce. I don't know what it could be, but I'll keep paying attention to them and just keep an Allen key with me at all times, but it is what it is. And as you guys can see, boom, this race. to my ride height car is pretty quiet it's not that cold outside so 50 degrees it's around so not that bad this exhaust she's rumbling guys that k20 motor guys high revving engine gotta love it guys first let's uh let's go to lowe's and then we're going to put air in the tires like i said before being tuned you don't you don't unless a certain percentage you put your foot down it will go into VTEC so you're not always banging VTEC I love it I'm one handing it right now guys so just pulled up to Lowe's I'm about to just double tap as you guys can see, air out. Just like that, man. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But now I gotta pop the hood, take the board out, cause I don't know what size it is. We're just gonna leave her hang for a little bit, close the hood, before they do engine swaps around here. We're good, man. Got the board right here. Kind of like a Allen key. Yo, let's see if I can find the screw. Every time I come here, guys, Every time I come to my local stores, I can never find what I want. And I always gotta drive miles away. I don't know what it is, but it sucks. But I know it should be in these little drawers right here. It lose. Just gotta find the drawer that has these in it. So, oh, right here in front of my face. Got the goods. I might have to buy some extras cause you know, Things just like to fall out and disappear. I think we found it, guys, right there. And if you guys run into this issue 10 32, one and a half, and these are um, right here, these Allen key screws. So, so I lied. My local stores do have the stuff that I need. Dang, when you get back to your car, you be like, dang, look at this car in the back. How did he get in a parking lot? This guy's car is on the ground, man. How did he get back here? How do you drive like this, dude? How? I'm taller than the car, dude. Like, how do you get behind here, dude? Bag life. Pop the hood and do everything over again. You guys know, just back in the parking lot working on your car wrenching so i'm gonna put this one back where i got it from and start screwing it back in i forgot to buy the loctite so the screws doesn't fall out but hopefully i think i might have some in the garage i may have to ask my dad this summer you guys will see more vlogs with my dad too so and the bag install for the car so i know you guys can't wait for that Everyone keeps asking me about retrofitting the headlights. Everyone keeps asking them about, am I installing bags on another car soon? Coming soon, guys. Coming soon. More demonized, not even my car. 
more demonized in the future too so gotta love it guys gotta love it luckily the car is aired out so it kind of makes it a bit easier but it is what it is man so just did all four sections we are good to go in the jeep who has the evo came by and saw my car he's like damn dude car looking good clean appreciate it appreciate all the love man so i put the screws in as you guys saw and now we're about to head to put some air in the tire so let's go you guys just pick your psi 33 grab this and put your air in pretty simple guys Make sure. Damn, this thing is strong. This is the real deal. And then watch it. And then it should say. And then it's done. So if you guys don't know how to pump air in your tires, that's how you do. So if you're getting your first car. Find a place where it gives you free air. Like I'm at BJ's right now. BJ's to have free air. So that's it. I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna do the rest of all the other tires. So let's we'll see. just came back home now i'm about to hit the gym right now <clears throat> i didn't really have much planned today but definitely needed to put air in the tires uh get the car get those hood vents fixed which i found and share with you guys about the demon eyes which i probably got to get new headlights new projectors etc etc but it is what it is nothing in life worth having comes easy so I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Let's head to the gym. Only made it to the gym, guys. Right there. Time to go in there, put in some work, make it happen, guys. Guys, make sure you guys, this is the year, man. Make a decision, man. Take care of your health, take care of yourself, stay active, stay motivated. Keep grinding, guys, toward your goals. And take care of your health, number one. That's number one. You wanna live a long and prosper life? Take care of yourself. Take 15 minutes. 30 minutes at the gym do some cardio run exercise stay active do that at least every single day and you'll see a difference especially and also you got to eat good eat healthy drink a lot of water can't be drinking soda all the other crap drink water of course orange juice is fine stuff like that rice but have portions you can eat whatever you want but have portions and of course cycle in water orange juice in a daily basis tip that's a tip for me guys but let's get in here and make it happen what's up guys so let me know if you guys are interested in this shirt with the at sign it was street shark with the car with the demon eyes let me know if you guys are interested in this shirt right here comment down below but i'm gonna show you guys the package that i got so package is right here and of course, these are the demon eyes. So there comes with two demon eyes, which they look like this. So I showed you the demon eyes that's on my car today, and these are completely different. So this is the RGB that fits on top of the projector. So what you would do is basically on top of the projector, there's two screws that you will screw this in, and it would just hang um, above the are uh, the projector 
So it just hit, uh, sit on top and then it'll reflect off the projector. So that's how that looks. And then as you guys can see, the driver is completely different than the one that's on my car and the connection is right here. So as you guys see, this is all the RGB right here. And then this part right here is the driver. So this thing right here is the driver, right? So I was hoping that it would be the same and I could just change out the driver and make, and maybe everything will be fine. But as you can see, the connection is different. There's actually five pins right there, as you guys can see. And the female adapter also has five pins. So it's not gonna work again. So the, the driver that's on the, the old color morph is only four pins, but this is five pins. So it's not gonna work. So even if I try to swap out the driver, the driver will not work because there is five pins. There's usually black, green, red, and what is that, blue? But now there's white on here too. So I guess white is now like a bright white, kind of like you see on like the Mustangs, the day running light is bright. You can have bright uh, uh, halo lights now. So that's it for the video. If you guys like this video, smash the like button. And also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel because the more dope content is coming this year. I cannot wait. So many things are planned. I cannot wait. So, and if you guys are going to Honda Day, Honda Day is usually in New Jersey. It's going to be here in Maryland. So, I'm going to be at Maryland International Raceway for Honda Day. Guys, if there's anything that you want to achieve, find your inner drive, the thing that drives you to take a step forward every single day and make it happen. Peace, guys. See you tomorrow with another video. Shout out to the Evil Street Strike fam. Definitely smash the subscribe button on the left here. And also hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Click the link right here below of the latest video that's out right now.